Hi guys, welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carmen, welcome. So Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello, a very trendy young couple. I've gotten a bunch of requests from you guys to do a video on this couple showing you if this is a good match and if this relationship will last in the future. And we look at the numbers in people's birth charts and we can predict with great accuracy how compatible a couple will be together and how likely they are to last in the future. And so I want to say beforehand that my analysis today is going to be completely objective and it's going to be completely based on the numbers in these charts. I don't know a lot of personal information about these two, so everything that I tell you is going to be completely based on the numbers. And so I apologize to you ahead of time if there's something that I say that offends you. If you are a fan of these two and I say something that offends you, I apologize. It is not my intention to offend anybody. But I'm going to be objective, so I'm going to be showing you the good and the bad. And you don't have to know anything about numerology in order to watch this video. I'm going to break it down and make it very simple. These are the four most important numbers in a numerological birth chart. The life path number is the most important number in your chart and it is your main purpose in life and the main reason you were born. The expression number is how other people see you and it's how you express yourself to the world. The soul's urge number is what makes you happy in life and what brings you happiness. And the birthday number is all of the skills, talents, and abilities that you come down in this lifetime with to support your life's purpose. I have already gone ahead and calculated these charts ahead of time. If you want to do this on your own or if you want to calculate your own birth chart, I will leave a link to an app below that is completely free. All you have to do is put in your birth date and your first, middle, and last name on your birth certificate and it will calculate your chart for you. So I'm first going to talk about if Sean and Camilla's life path numbers are compatible with each other because a life path number is the most important number in your chart and it's who you are at your core. So I'm going to talk about good things about this combination and I'm going to talk about some bad things too because there's some potential bad things about this relationship that I need to show you guys. So let's talk about the good things first. So Sean's life path number is a number seven, and as you can see from the number meanings, seven represents introspection, spirituality, research, and solitude. So people with a life path number of seven need to spend a lot of time alone because they need to spend a lot of time thinking about things and analyzing things in their mind. They can either be on the academic side and tend to be either scientists or researchers, or they can be spiritual people, such as priests and monks, or spiritual teachers. Um, but they are people that spend a lot of time in their head thinking about things. And Camilla's life path number is a number five, and as you can see from the number meanings, five represents freedom, change, transition, travel, movement, seeking out sensory experiences. So these are also people that are in their head a lot as well. Um, they get bored very, very easily. They need to be stimulated mentally um, because they do get bored very, very easily. And so because they get bored so easily, they are always seeking out new experiences and they are in constant need of change and they like travel and movement and they are always seeking out sensory experiences because they need that stimulation in their mind. So the five and the seven um, are both kind of like explorers. They like to explore things. They like to analyze things. The difference is with the seven, the seven is exploring the world from within themselves, going within in their mind and um, you know through meditation and introspection. And the five is also an explorer, but instead of exploring what's going on inside of them, they like to explore the outside world and they like to explore what's going on in the external environment. They're like adventurers. So sevens are explorers of the inside world and, and fives are explorers of the outside world. And so for this reason, five and seven typically go well together and it's a very natural match in numerology and they are very compatible with each other. These numbers like to have their own autonomy and they like to have their own space. 
and they also go well together because they're okay with giving each other the space that they need because they like to have their own space, so they're okay with it. And life path number fives, like Camilla, are usually very outgoing, they're very extroverted, they are a lot of fun to be with, they can be very charming, they can be very charismatic, and for that reason, sevens usually are very drawn to them. Sevens really like being around number fives. They like them a lot. Um, sevens are more introverted, and so they are drawn to the more extroverted fun five. And both of these numbers are odd numbers, and the odd numbers tend to have a similar energy and go well with each other, and the even numbers have a similar energy and go well with each other. So now that we've talked about that, let's talk about um, some potential problems with this 5-7 combination. And the first problem is that 7s tend to be slower in pace than the 5s. So as I had mentioned before, 7s are very introverted. They are people that like to spend a lot of time alone, and 5s um, are more outgoing. They're like adventurers, and they're faster paced. And 7s can have trouble keeping up with the fast-paced 5s sometimes. And Sean has two sevens in his chart, so he has a little bit of an imbalance of this number, because anytime you have more than one of the same number, it's considered an imbalance, because you have too much energy of that one number. And this is common, I see this a lot with people, but um, in his case, he has a lot of the seven energy. And so that tells me that he's probably very introverted. And then another problem with this combination is that sometimes the sevens can say things that are very harsh and hurtful. Because in numerology, all numbers have positive aspects, but they also have negative aspects too. So on the negative end of the number seven is a person who can be very cynical. And so not saying that Sean is a cynical person, because I don't know anything about him, um, but what I am saying is that sevens who are on the negative end of that number can become cynical people sometimes. And so if a seven feels like somebody has hurt them, sometimes they will say things to lash out at that person and they will have a lethal tongue and say things to that person that they don't really mean, but they said in reaction to the way they felt at the time because they were hurt by that person. And if they do lash out, some of the things they say can really hurt a person and can really cut them. And life path number fives are very quick to run. You know, they're not the most committed people, so any sort of disruption or negativity will send them running and they won't look back because, you know, these are people that like change and they're okay with switching and transitioning to a new person if there is some sort of negativity in the relationship. So that might be something that Sean might have to keep in check. Now on the positive end of the number seven, you have people that are extremely spiritual, like a priest and a monk. And these people are not cynical about life because they have found something to believe in and they have faith. And um, so because of that, they're very gentle, such as uh, Mr. Rogers. Uh, Mr. Rogers was a life path number seven, so so hopefully Sean is on the more positive end of the number seven, because if not, that could cause problems in the relationship in the future. So now let's talk about the soul's urge numbers. Those are two very important numbers because they determine what brings you happiness in life. And as you can see, Sean's soul's urge number is a number three, and as you can see from the number meanings, three represents Expression, communication, socializing, joy, creative expression, and optimism. So basically all of the music that Sean is creating is what brings him true happiness in life. And so this is a great number for a musician. Um, three is a number of creativity and creative expression. A lot of life path number threes are artists and musicians and actors or people that are in some sort of creative field. Now, one of the problems with this number is that on the negative end of this number, this number can be very scattered sometimes. So this is a very social number, and because of that, it can be very scattered. And, um, but it needs to be because it's a creative number, and that need to kind of like spread themselves around kind of helps them with their creative process. And so just wanted to point that out because sometimes when I see people with a three 
soul's urge number, they're not always the most committed people because three is a very non-committal number. And um, that's his soul's urge number. That's what makes him happy in life. So that could also be a potential problem as well. And Camilla's soul's urge number is a number 11, which is a master number. And as you can see from the number meanings, 11 represents bringing illumination and inspiration to other people, uh, psychic abilities, seeking out spiritual knowledge. So those are the things that make her happy in life, bringing inspiration to people and um, illumination. So 11 is also a very spiritual number, like number seven. Um, a lot of people that are life path number 11s tend to be like psychics and mediums. So if she's not already a spiritual person, becoming a more spiritual person will probably bring her great happiness someday. And so I just wanted to point this out because um, Sean's life path number is a seven and seven is also a very spiritual number. And so this could be a positive in the relationship if um, Sean is on the more spiritual side of the number seven. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to point out about this relationship that could be a potential problem in the future is regarding Camilla's life path number. So as I mentioned before, life path number fives really like their freedom and they really like to have change and they really like to have transition. And so sometimes this can be a problem in relationships because if they are operating on the more negative end of the number five, they can become cheaters and they can be people that will cheat on their significant others. Not all fives are like this, so I'm not saying that she's a cheater, but remember, fives are always seeking out new experiences and they like new sensations. So they like it when new people come into their lives because when new people come into their lives, they give them a new feeling and it's a new sensation and they like that. They, they wanna have those new sensory experiences and they like change. So sometimes they can be cheaters. And it's not just that she is a life path number five. I want you guys to take a look at the challenges um, that these two have. We all have four challenges throughout our lifetime. And if you use one of those apps that I left in the description box, it will actually calculate three of these challenges for you. So it will tell you what your three major life challenges will be. And the challenges are just basically some of the difficulties that we will have during our lifetime. Um, they are basically just the negative aspects of a number. So whatever numbers you have as your challenges, you are just going to be having difficulty with that number because you're going to be experiencing some of the negative sides and some of the negative aspects of that number. And so for Camilla's life challenges, as you can see, she has two life challenges of a number five. And the challenge of a number five is the need for too much freedom and too much exploration. So she has two of these in her chart. So this could be a huge potential problem in the relationship because this double challenge that she has of having too much of a need for freedom and too much of a need for change in her life is not going to be good for any committed relationship that she's going to be in because she's going to have difficulty with commitment and she's going to have difficulty being committed to just one person because she has this double five challenge. In addition to the fact that she is a life path number five on top of that and life path number fives sometimes do already have trouble being committed and, and staying committed to one person to begin with, even if they don't have these two five challenges in their chart. So the combination of this, in addition to her life path number being a five, could be a huge potential problem to this relationship and any relationships that she has in the future. So as you can see with this relationship, it's not as clear cut as some of the other videos that I've done on my channel. There's some good things about this relationship, but there's also a lot of potential problems too. A lot of potential problems. So let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this. I wanna know what your opinion is. What do you think about everything that I've just said? Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna check out my services, I will leave the information to that below. I would love to have you subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. 
I'm sending you light and love. Take care.